Questions and comments? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I listened with great interest to my honourable colleague. I think what's frustrating uh, with the debate that we're having today is there's nothing surprising that Ebola would have hit in the way that it did. We saw numerous patterns of this disease uh, starting and stopping in Central Africa. The World Health Organization has been aware of this, and yet when we saw the latest outbreak begin, there seemed to have been a, a lack of political will or interest in the larger Western powers who could have brought aid at the very beginning. And now we're in a situation where we're facing the possibility of 10,000 new cases a week in, in West Africa, and I'm certainly hoping we don't uh, reach that number. But I'd like to ask my honourable colleague about the fact that the need for a coherent international health strategy has been known for decades. We've seen this with uh, outbreak after outbreak, and we see the consequences of the failure of governments to act, and this could certainly be another wake-up call for us. But I'd like to ask my honourable colleague what he thinks is at the root of the fact that it seems that the Western governments have dropped the ball, that they're not paying attention on the need to do the preventative work and to spend the money that in the short term may be seem costly, but it will be much cheaper and much more beneficial for humanity if we spend it in the prevention rather than now scrambling as we are at the 11th hour and dealing with an outbreak that has really gotten out of hand. 